Good morning, good morning. You guys, stay at home Jan is stay at home Janning. That makes zero sense, but to me it makes sense. I am truly an introvert. I thrive from being at home. This month has just been glorious like anything that I did not agree to in December. I have not done. It's been stunning. My manager sends me invites and she's like, stay at home Jan, and I'm like, stay at home Jan. I think she can't wait for January to be over, quite frankly. I think she's sick of saying no to people. Literally every invite is a decline. However, today, not the case. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so excited for today. Like genuinely, it takes a lot for me to show excitement. And sometimes even when people ask me if I'm excited about things, I'm like, yeah, like literally that meme that's like, yeah, not today. I'm genuinely like just so happy and excited. I am going to London today. I actually have to leave in half an hour. Like I need to be ready, ready to roll. So can't lie, that's stressing me a little bit. By the way, yes, my concealer is, sorry, I will get to the point in a second. My concealer is not gonna match my face. I currently don't have a concealer that matches my face. My concealer's run out. I'm so sad about it. Where's it gone? The Givenchy. It doesn't look like it's run out, but it has truly like dried up, smells funky, like the whole situation. Anyway, we're just going to fix it with a bit of underpainting. So I'm basically doing my concealer first and then my tinted moisturizer over the top fixes any shade issues you have unless they're like very dramatically different. Also trying to use up this hourglass concealer that I love but it is too dark for me and I don't want it to go off so yeah my point being I'm going to London. I have got an appointment at half penny for a dress fitting because drum roll drum roll please I have found my wedding dress. I'm so happy today I get to go and try it on again because I am going to show the two of my bridesmaids that haven't seen the dress my mum has seen it and then Vic and Amelia have seen it in part but not actually in full so Vic will kind of be getting a little bit more of an idea of it today Amelia sadly can't make it she is jet setting which I'm very jealous of because she looks like she's having the best time her daily updates are just giving me life at the moment all my girls bar one are coming up to see my dress but they're also going to do some trying on of dresses today for their bridesmaids dresses or vibesmaids dresses which is so fun i am so i'm just so it's gonna be such a fun day i am really looking forward to it i was like i can't not vlog today even though i'm so tired i didn't sleep very well but i was like i have to vlog today this is such a moment so yes kate halfpenny is doing my dress i'm so i i love her so much it's kind of funny like I really from the beginning I said she was my dream I was like I love the mix of like the simplicity but the drama I think it suits my taste very well and for a while I genuinely thought we were going to go in a different direction there were a lot of other dress try-ons I did there were so many that I did really love from other stores from other like retailers and designers there were so many that I loved and it was a really difficult choice. So excited to just be working with Kate because she is just an absolute dream. She's so lovely. Her and her team are just gorgeous in the fittings. Like there are some fittings that are a bit awkward and that whole experience is just so important to me. So yeah, that's a, that's a big thing that I actually took into consideration was it wasn't actually just the dress. It was like, I want to love the place that I am coming back to on repeat for a good few months. Like I, I'm gonna spend a lot of time in these places. I need to really love the team that I'm working with, which might sound silly because that team are not, I'm not gonna be wearing them on my wedding day, but I just sometimes think like, if there's a bad experience in a store, it can taint how you feel about something. See, underpainting, so natural, so nice. Who would know that my concealer does not match my face? Nobody, nobody, tell me nobody because I don't want to hear otherwise it's too late by the time this video goes live also guys two things number one i've gone back to a lot of my charlotte tilbury routine because my skin was just looking so awful lately my skin's been bad since before i started using this again before anyone says it i don't want to hear you telling me to stop using the charlotte tilbury glowgasm pinkgasm highlight wand because it's literally everything right now my skin is looking so lackluster this winter is really just beating it up so yeah my first point was i've changed up my routine and i'm obsessed obsessed with the underpainting and then the charlotte tilbury 
pink gasm beauty highlight wand it is sensational also the flawless airbrush spray oh my god my skin has never looked so good and so juicy like you can you'll watch when i'm done it is unreal my second point was there have been a couple of comments for a while now and i couldn't tell if they were like spam because they basically all said the same thing but i did not realize that for the past couple of months i don't know how it's happened it must have been like when my camera was in my bag but my settings on my camera have been changed so that the resolution that you can watch this in is a fraction lower which if you're watching on tv is really really annoying and i know that's how a lot of you like to watch your youtube videos it's fixed now <laughs> i'm so sorry but thank you to those of you that did comment and tell me that because i realized last night <laughs> <laughs> that it has been on that setting since about November. <laughs> I'm actually shocked that I did not realise. Oh, and also my podcast with the girls, with Victoria and Amelia, is now live. So if you want to go and listen to that, I will link it in the info box below. It's such a funny episode. Like, I have listened to it, I think, about three times over already, and I literally only just got the edit yesterday. I especially enjoy the bit where Victoria tells me off for trying to curate my Spotify wrapped. I don't know why, it just really tickles me. It's such a like me and Vic moment where I'm like I'm doing something like slightly dumb and pointless and she's just like you have to be authentic you can't <laughs> curate it it just I don't know why it just tickles me it's just such a fly on the wall conversational moment I love it like even if nobody listens to it I just love the fact that I have that to listen back to it's just such a special podcast it's quite emotional as well this <laughs> there it is like we all cried it was like a real life therapy session but girl therapy make it girl therapy I realized I didn't do my lip liner so this is Jones Road pinky nude I think nude pink and if you are going to get one lip liner from this collection let it be this one it's so nice and warm i think if you've got like a similar skin tone to me you'll really like it like if you like a nudie pink but all the nudie pinks seem a bit off you'll really like this one if you're fair i think this is going to come off a bit more of a brown and it will look a bit darker and if you're darker this will be an amazing like center color oh, just it is so nice then a little bit of kkw in the center and then i'm gonna go for this one from charlotte tilbury this is the lip collagen in i think it's pillow talk just exposed all of my storage bags back there i was having a clear out as you will have seen in the last vlog if you haven't watched that go and watch it because you get to see a full view of the shroom which i don't know if you'll get to see in this vlog so that is my current favorite lip combo right let's go i lied you're seeing the shroom but if you want to see me organize it go and watch the last vlog so this is my outfit of the day i've got a black bodysuit on my celine belt zara jeans and then we're gonna need i think we're gonna need like a boot to go with this to give me a little bit more leg length because otherwise these jeans just do very little for me but i think this whole outfit will be so nice with a skinny heel on what do you think i think it's yeah it's fine it's fine, I might just be a bit wobbly. <laughs> Everything is fine. So yeah, this is my, what is underneath my giant coat that I'm going to wear today. Probably a really ugly ass like puffer thing that's very practical because it's peeing it down right now. I actually need to throw on some jewelry and I have a new Aurelia order to unbox. I love Aurelia jewelry, it is so fun, so great for stacking. <gasps> oh my God, can't wait to unbox this. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I think these are part of the new collection so i will link these i'll take you through this full order when i'm home and i have like more time because we've got a lot of fun new things but for now i think i'm just gonna throw these on they're not too big so it's kind of like a nice daytime statement earring what do we think yeah oh my god they are so nice i think i have a matching necklace as well so i'm gonna throw it on and then we'll leave Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's, it's so stunning. It is. Hello, everybody. I am on a different vlogging camera because guess who forgot her vlogging camera? I'm brown for the train. And then called Victoria. <laughs> and I was like, please help me. Please, can you bring a spare memory card? So this vlog is dedicated to you. Oh, thank you. I wouldn't be here without you, Vic. Because I, I thought you were meant to be like the big sister of the group that has her shiz together. And I was like, no, sorry, when did I sign up for this? Yeah, you. That's certainly not me, though. That, well. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know how I fit into the group. I don't, I don't know. I'm definitely the middle child, though. I'm giving severe middle child vibes. Yeah. 
<laughs> Lucy was like, what am I? I was like, you're the unplanned, very young sibling if Amelia's the baby. You're the un unplanned younger sibling that's in a different generation to the rest. She's the Gen Z. She's the Gen Z of the group. We are here. We've got Lauren here as well. Hi, honey. We haven't seen you in ages. We missed you. I've been busy. Look, people actually come out and they're like, where is Lauren? Oh, we miss her. She doesn't. I'm still here. We're so glad. Oh my god. Trust me and Lauren start making things morbid when I've been recording for a minute. But we are in Half Penny. This store is just the most beautiful store. I am obsessed with it. So we have got a load of dresses for the girls to try on. And these are gonna be their bridesmaids dresses. I'm not gonna tell you what colour, but you'll find out sooner or later. Um, and I also just tried my dress on, which you hopefully would have seen a little audio clip of. Basically Lauren crying. <laughs> Yeah, that is that's what we are up to this afternoon. I can't wait for the girls to try on some dresses. What colours do you guys like? Let me know what you would go for. It's so beautiful. This, the green. Vic's worn the green before, hasn't she, for an event. It lives rent free in my brain. It's stunning. We've got some creams, some reds, greens. So gorgeous. I can't wait to see everyone in the different things they try because we're going to do different styles, but the same colour. And I think that will be perfect. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we Whatever you want. We did a really tight pants. Really tight pants. Imagine. Lauren would love. Yeah. <laughs> Walking down the aisle. <laughs> I'm open to it. And flowers to pull in the middle of the shower. It's sounding like my mum's wedding. <laughs> Sorry, mum. Sorry, mum. Oh my gosh, she's going to be so mad. I really love it. Was that the first one? Yeah. Yeah. Stunning. Yeah. But I tried it on the whole thing in the dress. Okay. Yeah. I wish I could whistle. Oh, God, on. You're fine. <laughs> oh, oh babe, that, that is stunning. So that's tied just as a halter. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, I mean, look at yeah. that with the back. Wow. Oh, fresh back. Oh, yes. oh, oh the bow. Oh, so babe, so you look so pretty. pretty. Do you like it? Yeah, I really love it. Oh, but is this the one that you were hoping? Yeah, this is, yeah. The, one. This is the one I was... I was thinking would be yeah. amazing because I love that it's so yeah. like versatile and you can mm. change yeah. up the neck and I've yeah. been wearing yeah. loads. Yeah, because you can it twist it around, around can't you? Well. Yeah. It's yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Oh, so this oh. is this what you they did to you, Liz? Oh, yeah. oh right. amazing. So you, so you can, can do this for yeah. kind of the yeah. eyes I felt and like then change like it to the yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. eyes. Yeah. Just yeah. Just yeah. Hold it for that. Oh, look at that one. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, I love this dress. Yeah. It's so like customizable, isn't yeah. it? It's a really good length. That's so me. special. Mm. What one is this called again, Paige? <laughs> Cheryl. Cheryl. The Cheryl dress. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a great length. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. Gorgeous, babe. Do you like Stunning. it? Stunning. Yeah. Approved yeah. by me. I absolutely love it. Oh, Honestly. This, this fits. Stunning. I love it. I love it. Gorgeous. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Stunning. And I'll be able to wear it over and over and over afterwards, which I love. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, so job done. Okay, do you, do you want me to try another? Or? Yeah, I would like to see some more. Gorgeous. Oh, so stunning. So this is the fan. Stunning. I just love how it's just straight down. Yeah, really beautiful. Like no fuss. Like super chic. And the back is stunning. beautiful. Yeah, very lightweight as well. Yeah. And like breezy. Again, it's one of those dresses that you can just wear. Over yeah, and over you can rewear. Well. You would definitely rewear this as well. Which one do you think I'd rewear more? Oh, oh that is hard to say. Oh my god, the back on this is really nice. Yeah. Really lovely. Oh, it's really special, isn't it? Yeah. Really nice. It's really nice. Maybe it would need like a little. Little yeah, yeah. It's all back. So much hair. It's not a quick. Yeah. <laughs> it's not quick to do that anymore, is it? <laughs> oh yeah, it's yeah, so beautiful. What do you think? Which do you like more? Oh, this is hot. Yeah. We have come for some food at where are we? Casa. Casa. Pastel. Casa Pastel. Victoria has Mexican picked food for Mexican food, and she was craving a margarita. And how could I say no? So we've got Lucy here. Honey. And we are going to order some, we've got some avocado, what is it called? Guac? Guac and guac. chips. Uh, guac and chips. This margarita menu 
is extensive. Mm. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven margaritas, and this is my heaven. Eleven different margaritas, and then they have a whole load of other tequila based cocktails like a Paloma. Hello! Mm. My favourite. Mm. I think that might have to be a wedding cocktail, you know? Paloma, because it's a nice one if people don't like margaritas yeah yeah so i can't decide between the strawberry and basil margarita or the mango, or the mango spiced mango but it comes frozen which is stunning or do i go el classico or the paloma mango help me help me you always have you always have palomas you always have classic the strawberry and the mango are unusual so go with them yeah so good cool. and mango is really good so and mango. <laughs> yeah maybe maybe we go mango Oh, I just get scared. I never have anything mango, but maybe this is the day I push the boat out. I think you should get mango. So I want to try should... your mango. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get a mango so Lucy can share it. <laughs> Yum. Okay, great. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Cheers, babe. <laughs> to the bride. To me. Ooh. Oh, it's delicious. Mm. My faves. <laughs> so I have got the tuna tuna tostadas. What have you got? I have got the chicken tinga. Got another round of guac because I'm obsessed and I'm gonna polish it all off. Really and what is this babe? The crab this is a crab to start. Mm. It's amazing. So nice, so nice. And our margaritas are so good. Would definitely recommend coming here. It's so yeah, exactly. good. Yeah. You want a second one? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they are so good. Definitely recommend. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank oh you. my goodness. Okay. That looks this so looks wow. real, guys. Wow. wow. Oh. This is like my favorite new Mexican restaurant. Look at this corn! Oh my god! Stunning. Honestly, I think yesterday might have been one of the best days of my life. I had so much fun. Not me carrying yet another parcel, by the way. I really tried not to shop this month, and then before you know it, I have so many parcels coming today. Fail. I, I truly failed. But anyway, I have just been for a walk. I'm actually feeling very tired. So we're running a bit behind today because I did not get up at the crack of dawn like I have been. But I have been for a walk. I'm feeling a bit fresher, but still kind of like I, I haven't fully caught up physically. But yeah, I'm just in full walk mode. It's a stunning outfit of the day for you. I'm actually about to start a what I wore in a week. But just know when I start that this is what I was wearing in the morning before I actually got dressed. I've got an Adenola jumper on, an aloe yoga bra and then my adenola midnight blue leggings leggings are the word oh my god i can't i, I actually can't think of words today i'm meant to be recording a podcast i'm a bit concerned for the outcome of this podcast because i actually can't structure a sentence so maybe that needs to be a tomorrow job it's actually concerning how one night of bad sleep has like thrown me off so badly like it's i'm i feel so dramatic when this happens but the thing is i've been very t like i can go out on a work night and it doesn't affect me like this like something something is off at the moment and i don't know what it is but like there's something is wrong <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but anyway yeah this was my walk attire for the morning anyway i need to put some makeup on it is so gloomy today i keep vlogging on days when it's just like really gloomy and not sunny like yesterday i was exhausted and it was the sunniest most gorgeous day ever like the lighting in the room of requirement was unreal everything would have looked so nice and yeah literally every day that i don't vlog it is sunny i'm just so excited for you to eventually see the house in all of its glory on a nice like sunny day and not a gloomy day what are we doing okay i'm just gonna do something light today not go too heavy on the eye anyway i had the best time at my wedding dress fitting kate halfpenny is just the most wonderful woman i I'm obsessed with her. She was so great with all of the girls in their fitting, like so, so lovely. And one of the bridesmaids, Lauren, she tried on a dress and Kate loved it on her so much that she just gave it to her. Like Lauren tried on a dress, the style was for my wedding, but not the, the like shade of it. And she loved it on her so much that she just gave it to her. And I was, I'm not even joking, I just sobbed. And I was trying not to sob because I had my contacts in and apparently you're not really meant to do that. And I was just, sobbing and it was just so lovely i'm just so obsessed with her it was so kind of her so i think that's lauren's dresses for both of my weddings sorted so i can't remember if i said with the bridesmaids dresses but i'm super relaxed about it i just want everyone to be in the same 
shade and the same ideally the same or similar materials but i don't care to have everyone in the same style i just don't think that's realistic because all of my bridesmaids just prefer a different shape and they also have different skin tones as well so i wasn't previously going to go for the same shade you can really style up the mix and match bridesmaids dresses if you put a lot of work in and i was really prepared to do that however we all came to an agreement on one color so we will actually be having the same color which isn't what i originally anticipated but it's so nice just to have that cohesiveness but yeah ultimately i am really relaxed about it i just want everyone to feel their best i would love it if it's something that they feel they would have in their wardrobe and rewear over and over again like that is the ideal i I have been putting some bridesmaids dresses in my time. I have the memory of a baby blue one from a few years back that still unfortunately lives rent free in my brain in the worst way. I want my girls to feel lovely. I don't want them feeling like crap. I just don't want them feeling like that about themselves. It's just unnecessary to me. And whilst the day, yes, is not about them, I want them to feel amazing. I want them to have the best time in addition to me. I love my dress. I'm so excited whenever I get to wear it and I want them to feel that way about theirs as well. So that is the aim and I really think we have hit the nail on the head with like the colour situation and the fact that everyone can go to half penny and have a different style was just unreal. Also another thing I loved about yesterday was just having my bridesmaids all together. It was well apart from Amelia who I really did miss. Like I I miss her so much she needs to come home now i loved having them together like it's just like all of your favorite people together it's so nice and seeing them all get on so well is just it's such a lovely feeling and it makes me look forward to my bachelorette so much i feel like i'm gonna pee myself with excitement and every time i talk about it but we'll talk about that a little bit more soon i'm actually gonna do a podcast episode on it anyway i need to get on and get ready i feel like i'm just really i think most of this vlog i have been sat here waffling so far it's all my fault i forgot my vlogging camera yesterday it was not ideal time to pick an outfit good morning to a slightly messy room of requirement there's still a pile of things i have not sorted what are we gonna wear today guys oh we're actually i do have some bits in here which i am very excited about so maybe i'll open this and then we can pick today's outfit out of this because i am just gonna be home so maybe i'll do something come there we go so i have a little order here to unbox i also i realized that we didn't fully go through the aurelia bits those earrings i got so many compliments on them and the little heart necklace as well i love it i'm actually truly quite obsessed with it so they are part of the new collection from aurelia they also have these little heart earrings which are so nice i really love aurelia stuff like i have a pair of earrings that i've had for them for a good couple of years now that are these big crystal bows i am obsessed with them like i always find their jewelry i just keep forever and ever and it's so affordable as well oh my god that's so cute we need to have such a big organize i obviously did my organizing my closet video the other day there's still so much we have to do like i'm getting the hanging rail and the shoe rail which i'm so excited about but i also really want to go through my jewelry collection and have a look through and just neaten it up a little bit so another organizational video will be coming up very very soon lots of you were saying that you love that vibe and honestly i do as well i am really just i just want to be in my home at the moment oh this is really nice just a really tiny dainty little gold necklace it's like on a textured it's the same textured chain that the heart necklace from yesterday is on and it's just got a little little gold knot on it that's so nice this i love we've got a horseshoe necklace oh i love this we've got a lion's head necklace i will get so much wear out of this oh my god these earrings i love so they're like a textured chunky hoop but they're not too big and they feel really light as well which is super nice big big fan of those Oh, we've got another kind of vintage style hoop. Very much my kind of hoop. I love stuff like this. Love this. So I saw this little, like, la is it called a labrat? 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 For your, like, cartilage piercings. And I switch this one in and out all the time because it's the only one that's, like, really on its own. Um, I never switch the diamond one out because that, <laughs> that, that seems like a whole ordeal that I don't want to go through. But there's this little tiny tiny pearl and i thought that was so beautiful this is very appropriate if you are like me and you have lots of piercings but you want to make them like if you're getting married or just if you want 
for a special event to make them look a little bit more nice like i think for me over the next year doing lots of like bridal bits and bobs like studs like this would be so nice i really want to like find a good bridally ear stack i think that would be unreal and this as well paired with it so this is what i'm kind of talking about with like the bridal themed ear stacks we've got lots of like pearly little ear situations i think they're gonna look so cool mm -hmm. got another necklace oh i love this this is so cool like a very textured little blocky charm on quite a chunky but but like slim chain that's really nice just kind of really gorgeous everyday jewelry i also have a vintage style ring which is part of the aurelia lux susan kaplan 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 collection this is so stunning it's too big for me i think i might need to get like a ring resizer they do those amazon ring resizer things because this is so sick I'm so obsessed with that. Yeah, if you want to see all those styled up, watch the I Wore in a Week that will be coming up. So much content coming up. She is back on her bullshit in 2024. Oh, I also have some bits from the new, not the new, the one of the new House of CB collections because they've also just launched the Valentine's edit. This is from their January collection. I'm so excited to try these dresses on. They very kindly gifted me these but you guys know i spend an extortionate amount of money on house of cb it's my go-to for like more dressier dressing like more special occasion or like i want to look really really cute for like girls brunch kind of dressing and look at this dress it's so nice it needs a steam but it's a very like ysl dress kind of vibe it's got the little pockets over the hips nice long flared sleeve high neck this is the perfect like girly brunch dress but also i'm gonna get so much wear out of this because anything bridal related i have to go to for work i'm gonna wear this i think it'll be really nice in the spring but also at the moment it would look really gorgeous with like a pair of sheer tights underneath and then a pair of like patent like caught toe like stiletto heels for like work i think that would look so sick i also got it in black which i am mega excited about because i will get so much more out of this in the evening like i could literally have a day of events by this in the day and then do a quick change into this for an evening and that would make my life very easy i got these in a size small i think they're both in a small i'm hoping that's okay i also got sent this dress which is stunning i loved my kind of like vintagey white one from last summer it's like the perfect summer dress and i thought going into spring summer this would be a lovely one it's just got a bit more structure to it and it's got like boob cups like that kind of situation but it's in this lovely it's like a vintage cream color which i'm hoping will look good on my skin tone i think it i think it's gonna look okay it's fully lined looks absolutely beautiful i got this in a size small as well and then i also got this which i'm super excited about for right now this could be a really nice like valentine valentine's day date night contender it's a knitted like almost fluffy knitted midi dress with a slit down the side and like a long flared sleeve i love a long flared sleeve i think they're so flattering like i love when a sleeve comes to like here really really nice perfect one for date night but anyway what i was going to show you in the first place the choke hold that this brand has on me and has had for a very very long time i picked up another sweatshirt oh this feels so so nice it's also got a fleece lined inside as well which is so gorgeous so yeah this is definitely more of a comfy cozy situation it's really washing me out i got this in the size extra small because as we found out in the last vlog their sizing at the moment is a fair bit more oversized and i also picked up this hoodie which is so nice it's actually like a knitted hoodie oh my god that gray is lovely i got this in a size extra small you don't need to size up with this stuff but i also got the matching well not the matching but like the gray trousers that they do because i kind of wanted it to be matching so these are trousers like flared trousers that they do in a gray and you can either have them like high-waisted or you can like fold them over a little bit or you can fold them over completely and make them like low rise i think it's really cool and then i also got the matching gray sweatshirt so that might be my outfit of the day 
today. We'll do some little try-ons now. I also bought some books, so I might show you those in a bit. So this is dress number one. Petition for House of CB to bring in a petite range because I would love to not have to have this altered, but I think it would just be so perfect if it was this length. Like, I think that would just be really lovely and flattering, especially with a heel as well. I think it would look so good. So I'm going to see if I can take it up myself, but if not, I will definitely have this altered. I think it's so worth it. Like the fit is just so beautiful and the color is so nice. It makes me look very tanned. Yeah, I can definitely make do in the meantime though. And it's so beautiful. The black is stunning. I'm actually so pleased though that I got the vintage cream as well because I feel like you can't really see as much of the detail on the black as you can on the cream but you obviously you've seen the cream so you know you know there's pockets here and everything I actually love that you can put your hands in the pockets I have literally just realized that that is what is going on here that's so nice yeah I love this can't wait to have it taken up I'm gonna get so much wear out of it you guys this is so stunning I love it even more than I thought I was going to love it. I love how the body of the dress comes down like this and then you get almost like a little bit more hip, which I actually didn't think I would love. I don't normally want my widest point accentuated but because it's so fitted on the top half. It's honestly gorgeous. I can't wait for the summer to wear this. I feel like House of CB are really teasing us with this drop, but this could also maybe be a gorgeous engagement party option if I ever get round to organizing that and again the tone is really lovely i don't find that it's washing me out at all so very very happy with that i love this so much it feels unreal like it's so incredibly soft but damn is it long on me the only way i could make this work is if i wear it not off shoulder which i don't remember if that's how it's meant to be worn and it doesn't look quite as good and then if i wore a heel i think it would be just about right but it's just not how I wanted to wear it, so I don't know. Like, there's just nothing I can really do about the length of it, is there? Do you know, I feel like this would look amazing on Victoria, though. Like, she would absolutely slay this. It might be a little bit big for her, though, sadly. But, yeah, maybe I should give this to a taller friend, because it is so beautiful. Just, yeah, really sad about <laughs> the puddle of material on the floor around me. 10 out of 10 for the sweatshirt. Sizing is perfect. Unsurprisingly, it's Adenola. I have a million of their sweatshirts, of course I have no notes, it's so nice and cosy though, really really soft, so if you don't actually love the texture of the other Adenola sweatshirts, you might like this one, it's definitely a lot, a lot softer. I am in love with this combo, it feels very 2000s, the way I've styled it, you can style it so many different ways, which I really really like, so you obviously have the fold over aspect of the trousers, you can wear the trousers as high and as kind of neat or as like messy as you like so yeah you can wear them like higher you can wear them way more low rise i like the idea of wearing them kind of messy a lot but yeah you can wear them like way lower if you want and then the top as well you can it's so tight that you can roll it up if you want or you can just pull it over and the length is really good as well like they aren't too long oh wait that's folded over that's why <laughs> they're fine i'll just wear them with like my platform uggs yeah very comfy cozy for around the house which i really like and then we have the hoodie honestly i was like i was trying so hard this month not to shop but when i saw this drop i was like there's no way i'm leaving that because it is going to sell out so quickly it's really lovely very very soft feels really cozy it's like got structure to it but it's not too stiff I think this would look really nice with like a camel coat if you're out and about if you're going out for brunch if you're going on a walk i think it looks cool with the bottoms as well this is me in full nesting mode this is my attire for the organization and then and the nesting and i love it i just said nesting don't get excited i'm just excited to be back in my home i'm loving it so so much i can't even tell you guys like i there's no there are no words to describe how much i'm enjoying being back in this house it feels properly homey now whereas before i felt like we were just making it work it feels like a real functional lovely home like ryan it's been so cute ryan's been like buying stuff for the house so i can tell he's like really making this his home now and i just absolutely like, my heart is so full that makes me almost as emotional as like us getting engaged like him kind of embracing this as his home so i'm just like mm, love i'm about to go to my family's and i thought i would quickly show you what books i picked up this week firstly 
There's a new JP, I don't know if it's Delaney or Delaney, no idea. Hello. Someone hates anyone getting attention that's not her. Okay, you can read the books out with us. So, the new wife. It's always about a wife with this dude. When Finn and his sister Jess inherit a dilapidated farmhouse in Mallorca, there's just one problem. Their late father, Jimmy, a notorious bohemian recently remarried and his new wife is still living there. Interesting. These books I can literally devour in a day and they're some of my absolute favourites that I've ever read in the like whodunit kind of weird, creepy, thriller, mystery style books. I just love them. I have dog fur all over my face now, so if I touch my face a lot, that is why. I've also got the new Heidi Perks book. I think this is the new one, which is The Last Resort. When Erin and Will start having couple therapy, they hope it will fix the rift that has appeared out of nowhere in their marriage. But their therapist Maggie can't work out whose version of the truth she can trust. I am gonna love this. Can't wait, cannot wait. I believe we have a new Lisa Jewell book. Lisa Jewell is another one of my favourite authors in the kind of like dark, mystery, thrillery kind of sphere. I d generally tend to prefer books that are written by women because normally the women are like the central character and I do find it quite hard when they're written by men. I just don't always feel like they hit the nail on the head with the storytelling and like the internal workings of what would actually be going on in the main character's brain. JP Delaney, I'm pretty sure that is the only like male writer that I read from. But yeah, I love, I love, 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 love the Lisa Jewell book. This one says, two women, two stories, which one do you trust? Why are all the blurbs the same? Celebrating her 45th birthday at her local pub, podcaster Alex Summer crosses paths with an unassuming woman called Josie Fair. I'm already telling you, this book is going to annoy me. Any, any book where there's an influencer or something related to what I do is in it. I never, I never like it. Then we have a new Adele Parks book. Also love an Adele Parks story. I really like the one I think she wrote, Just My Luck, and it's basically about a family that wins the lottery. I really enjoyed that one. How do you find a woman who didn't exist? Kyle Gillingham's disappearance has gripped the nation. The woman with a shocking secret, married to two men at the same time, is missing, presumed dead, and both her husbands are suspects. Oh my gosh, she also wrote this book, One Last Secret. That was very, very much enjoyed that book. That was a fab book. So yeah, those are the new ones that I picked up. And that is my little bit of bedtime reading for you guys done. And I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh my God, I need to go, yeah. So I'm seeing my family this evening. I was meant to have left five minutes ago. So basically, <laughs> in the time it's taken me to read you out the backs of all of these, I am going to get on the road now and I will see you guys again in my next vlog. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me this week. Oh, don't mind the lights. It's just the ghost. There's a, <laughs> there's a ghost in my house. Anyway, that is a story for another day. Love you. Bye.